Hi guys, this is Scott Duffy from GetCloudSkills.com and in this video I'm going to talk about the exam changes that are coming in September 2021. Now, if you don't know, Microsoft from time to time introduces changes to their exam content. Roughly they have a every three month schedule, but these changes are often sometimes quite minor. And so if we go to an exam landing page such as this one, we can see that there's a big red message saying this exam is changing as of September 24th. And quite a number of exams are also changing as of September 24th. So let's talk about that. Well, the good news, first of all, is a lot of exams aren't changing. None of the fundamental exams that I cover have any changes to them. For instance, the AZ900 course hasn't changed since November 2020, and a lot of these other exams haven't changed since very early this year as well. So if you're in the process of studying for any of those fundamental level exams, this video really doesn't affect you. There's no changes to these exams. My courses are still the recommended ways of studying for that. Now let's talk about the first change that I want to talk about, which is AZ-104. This is the Azure Fundamentals exam. So if we pull in the uh, exam objectives, now this is a PDF you get from that exam landing page. We can see that they talk about September 24th date, but the way that this is um, laid out is that the first half of this document is the old requirements or the, the current requirements actually. And then the second half of the document is changes that will be implemented on September 24th. Now in the case of AZ-104, a very few changes are being implemented. You can see here that somebody's added the word virtual machine in front of the word scale sets. So that's not even a change, it's just a wording update. But AZ-104 does have one new requirement, and that talks about a backup vault, a separate from a recovery services vault. And so uh, you can see one single new requirement, and that's the end of the exam. So in this way, we can say AZ-104 has a very minor new topic, and if you're in the process of studying for this test, we're going to have to add uh, a few more minutes to learn about this. Uh, in in addition to all the other topics. So that's AZ-104. The next exam we can talk about is the architect exams, which is AZ-303. So once again, the PDF document is divided into two sections. So we have to scroll past the current requirements to get to the future requirements. So here is the September 24th changes. Now this exam has a lot more of these wording updates. You can see a capitalization change. You can see scale sets has been expanded to VM scale sets. Now one important uh, change here is the addition of the word bicep. So now they're talking about ARM templates and they're actually talking about, about JSON documents and bicep. So bicep's a new coding language that makes it easier to create complex ARM templates. It's basically a pre-processing step because BICEP does turn into ARM before it gets deployed. Uh, and so I'm going to have to add a video in the course about BICEP. The rest of these things are, again, wording changes where a VHD template became a VHD image, which is more accurate, of course. And you deploy an image, you don't deploy a template in this case. Uh, that is pretty much the only changes. Oh, here's... Um, container registry. It says publish and automate image management, and it's been simplified to push container images. So you can see some of these changes aren't worth really even talking about, um, but the big one on AZ-104 is the AZ-303, sorry, is the addition of BICEP. AZ-304 is the next uh, exam that we'll talk about, and it's been another extremely minor change. If we scroll down here to the, they've now renamed a Windows Virtual Desktop to Azure Virtual Desktop. Uh, so that is just a, again, very minor wording change. There's no new requirements to the 304 exam, no changes 
Um, they do might update the questions to protect against um, the dump sites, but the topics are the same. Uh, and then the final one, surprisingly, is uh, the AI 102 exam. I do have a course on AI 102. And uh, this one, again, updated on uh, September 24th. And if we go into the PDF, there's really um, no changes as well. We'll see a very minor. Um, what they've done is renamed the video indexer to the Azure Video Analyzer for Media. Um, I mean, it's a more, yeah, it's a proper name. Like the video indexer was kind of weird, but the, the video analyzer pulls out the tags and the, the metadata. It analyzes the video to determine what it's about. So that makes kind of sense. Um, so it's really just a product naming change. So that's pretty much it. Out of all of the courses that I teach, and the topics for these exams, those are the ones with it. As you can see, the only real addition is the AZ-303 having uh, the concept of BICEP. And so very, um, very minor set of changes. Now I will say the one thing that is coming up uh, in November is Microsoft Build. And so what typically happens, not Build, uh, Ignite. What typically happens around Ignite is that uh, Microsoft does make their biggest uh, product change announcements there. So if they were gonna do something, like you saw in September, it's just um, minor updates. If they're gonna do a big update, I would expect it to come in November, would be my expectation. So I'll, if they're gonna put $5 bet down, $5 bet that exam updates happen um, November 2nd, November 1st, October 31st. Uh, will be a bunch of changes to exams. That's the historical pattern last two or three years. Anyways, uh, you should re register for Ignite. It's free if you're interested in this kind of thing. That's a different topic though. Thanks a lot. This has been Scott Duffy from Get Cloud Skills. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the, the uh, comment section below this video. And I do would love to invite you into one of these courses. So if you're trying to learn one of these topics, I do have courses on all of them and the links are in the description. Thanks a lot for being here and have a wonderful day.